I'm Shem Asayag. I'm the Acting CEO and EVP for Sales for VXS Orca. VXS Orca is a leading technology provider in the field of uh, digital TV. We provide security products and services and also a TV everywhere platform called Voyage. So we are showing uh, a new product or a new feature called the TV Everywhere console. This is a web-based interface that will allow operators uh, which are uh, deploying OTT solutions, TV Everywhere solutions to administrate, control and monitor what's going on their platform. So typically, for instance, you could create new offers, new packages. What I mean is uh, adding a new channel, for instance, to a live package adding new movies to a VOD package, defining the new price for such package and putting that into your network, making it available to the subscribers. So we see a great improvement in the way you can really administrate in a very flexible fashion your operations. So this is not only a tool for engineers, which used to be the case, but also for marketing guys, for them really to market the uh, TV Everywhere solution on a multi-device environment in a much more uh, user-friendly way, I would say. Yeah, but that's, that's a very important point. As we move into a multi-screen, multi-device world, you know, you have so many different ways to watch TV. The form factors are different, the size of screens are different, the individuals watching are different. You know, we move from the back big screen in the living room to many devices, which are individual devices. So the way I watch TV on my smartphone is different, you know, from watching it with my family on the big uh, screen in the living room. And you want to uh, make the experience consistent, as you said. And as a technology provider, we want to allow that. So we have a very interesting demo uh, that we designed with uh, a partner called Zenterio, which shows that, for instance, you can start watching a movie on the iPad or a tablet, for instance, and go on watching it on your TV. So you would say, but this is quite common. But the difference is that you start watching on your tablet, which is very much an individual device. So the way uh, you watch the user experience is specific to your profile. And for instance, when you swipe the video to the big screen, what you will see is exactly the same experience. So the video will basically adapt to your own profile on the big screen. So you would switch profiles, for instance, if someone else was watching on the big screen. So as Thomas, you will have the same experience on your tablet and on the big screen with maybe specific menus, different types of recommendation, and this will be done automatically. So it's not just watching the video itself on the big screen, but having all the environment that you have for watching it, which is getting personalized. And the more devices we will see, the more intimate these devices will become, I think, the more important it will be to provide such an experience. So, so, so actually, your statement is correct. You know, unfortunately, it's very easy to watch illegally uh, premium content, especially sports on the internet. You just go to your PC, you type a Google search, and you can find a lot of sites distributing such content. And we think that this is an increasing threat to the industry, and we do care about it. So what we have done is that we have designed a service called Ion Piracy. And the goal is to monitor and track the illegal consumption of such content on the internet, especially for sports. So what we do is that we are able to identify what we call link farms, which are basically sites that do reference tens of links that allow you to watch legally uh, this content. So we identify these websites and these link farms, uh, which allows us also to evaluate the number of illegitimate eyeballs, I would say. But not only we do that, which in turn could become also a marketing tool to understand where potentially you have uh, a segment that needs to be addressed from a legal standpoint. Not only we can do that, but we fight against that. What we do is that we send what we call takedown notification to these sites, to these illegal sites, and we tell them now you have to stop distributing such content. Uh, and actually we have very good success rates. Uh, we just issued a press release with a company called OSN, which is a media company in the Middle East, and we ran a campaign for them dealing with the World Cup for cricket, which took place a few weeks ago. And actually uh, we identified you know, all the illegal streaming, as I said, but we are able to get a 60% success rate for takedown notifications. So we removed 
60% of the illegal website, illegal streams dealing with the uh, Cricket World Cup with our campaign. And the last element of the Ion Piracy Service is what we call the proof model. So our uh, right owners, broadcasters, they might want to go to court and sue um, people who are behind all these illegal uh, streams and uh, illegal websites. So we can help them you know, bring evidence uh, of that. We can you know, take screenshots, try to find out which are the companies and the people behind you know, uh, these uh, sites and stream and support them should they wish to. So actually that's interesting, you know, last year we used to be uh, near the Olympia Hall, so everybody was wondering, you know, what will happen with the new venue. Actually, I'm really, you know, very excited and very happy because the show is incredibly busy. Uh, we, uh, as far as we are concerned, we have a great location, but you can see everywhere a lot of people, a lot of activities. Uh, the show is very, very focused, uh, which means that you can really meet the people that you need to meet. You know, you have bigger shows, but you have people that are just popping by and they might watch a demo but at the end of the day they are not really potential partners, customers or stakeholders. Where at TV Connect I believe for us we really find only people that are meaningful to our business. So um, it's great to just have back-to-back -back meetings all day long. It's less great I would say because you end up very tired but uh, from a business standpoint that's really great.